Yo, what's going on there, YouTube? Marcus Levy, your boy here. Sixth Sunday vlog, coming right at you. <laughs> With a decently large product release. <laughs> so first off, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who supported me through this process. But officially, my first two books are now published and live on both Amazon uh, for Kindle and on Apple Books. So there's both a way that Android and iPhone users can get my book. <laughs> I've decided that due to my environmentalism, I am not going to proceed with printing any physical copies of, this, of these books. And so I'm just going to tell you, <laughs> the Anti-Judgmentalism Handbook is the main book, <laughs> the main piece where I talk, where it's basically a conversation that I start about how overly judgmental we are in society and how that's certainly not a good thing. <laughs> and so it's not the longest book in the world, but I figured as an intro piece, I would get it self-published on these platforms. Cause guess what? It's, this isn't like, this isn't 2000 anymore. So we can, <laughs> we can do a lot of this stuff ourselves. And Amazon and Apple offer massive platforms to basically do your own thing. And so I think that's fantastic. Next up, of course, are the 2019 Meditations, which are 99 cents, roughly, on uh, Amazon and uh, free on Apple Books. <laughs> I wanted to make them free, but Amazon was like, hmm, no. So, <laughs> but either way, it's a free sort of essay collection that gives you some base thoughts that I have on many topics, things that happened in 2019, but mostly they're my warm-up essays because I will warm up with one of those before I get moving on <laughs> on writing for this particular session, whatever it is. <laughs> but those are some of the best ways to intro into my work <laughs> before you read the full book. And that's kind of the plan. If I'm going to do a yearly book release of some sort, then I'm going to include the meditations of the year alongside it <laughs> for free or as free as I can make them. Because in a way, that's kind of like a little taster for my written material. Who knows if they get better or they get longer or whatever, I may charge for them. But just 15 little essays is a chance to sort of try out my work, see how it is, see if you like my style, and get the conversation going. <laughs> we have an extremely judgmental society, but officially as of now, I've planted my flag in anti-humanism and no one else has. So I've kind of founded this field of philosophy that doesn't exist, that no one's really put their name to. Yeah, there's a Wikipedia page for it, but if you notice, there's no notable philosophers section. There's just certain bits and pieces from like a bunch of people who were alive 150, 200, 300 years ago, who said something along the lines of what would be considered an anti-humanist foundation, but nobody has decided to pick up that mantle. So I have. Father of anti-humanism! Anyway, <laughs> I am totally fine with that. <laughs> you know, how do you break into the oldest medium in the world? Find something new, bring it into the 21st century. <laughs> it's the way I'm looking at it. Kind of hoping that it inspires someone somewhere down the line to make certain changes. <laughs> or at least start making certain changes. But either way, I hope you guys are having a fantastic week despite all of what's going on in the world. Despite the 2 million plus cases of coronavirus that exist by this point. <laughs> Our world is in an interesting place right now. Things are going to start slowing down in parts of the world over the next couple of weeks. So just keep together. <laughs> uh, and uh, for those of you who celebrate birthdays and stuff like that and major milestones while you're in quarantine or isolation, just know you will be out soon enough and able to see everybody. I know my birthday's coming up <laughs> in like less than two weeks. And... I have to keep strong myself because I know, aside from maybe a little something with Andrew because he lives upstairs, I'm not going to be able to do much for my birthday this year at all. It won't be until probably June, and then at that point it'll be like, let's celebrate everybody's birthday together. So that's fine. If that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. <laughs> but uh, April's an interesting month, and it's going to get more and more interesting as we go along here, so... I will see you guys next week for the next Saturday blog. So peace out for now.